In this video we will show you how to build a very special bike. Thank you for tuning in ladies and gentlemen. The scrap bike we will use for this project really is a very scrappy bike. We actually got it for free since it was so trash. Right off the bat we reversed the front fork in the head tube. And then we used the good old crank puller again. Let me actually tell you what we're gonna build. We are going to build a so called swing bike. A strange bike concept from the 70s that lost attention from the public. It is called a swing bike because... Well, you will see. This time we try to be careful with the chain, but then... Nah. So now the front fork sits inverted in the head tube already. And here we are doing some modifications to the shape of the frame. A gentle hammering sash again. Inverting a fork doesn't make sense, but it will in a bit. That's why we had to change the angle of the head tube. Ah, uh, that looks like some fine art. With a flap disc, we can get rid of some paint. Let's dust off our old welding machine. Alright, so the concept is as follows. This part will go here, the rear will go here, but we need some extra hinging action going on. So just a headset of this old fork we will use. Now that fits perfectly. We found a tube that fits perfectly in this fork. So with some holes we can weld it through and fix it onto the tube without destroying the thread. Make sure nothing sticks out because otherwise it will not fit in the head tube anymore. Which will sit under the saddle, so it's a saddle tube I guess. Now it's time to get rid of the rest of the second frame we found. Again for free because it was crap. Now finish it off to the point where people cannot tell if it is a joke or that you're actually trying to build something. Change that band. It is well fair. <laughs> Time to use our workbench as a measuring device. What you see here is our attempt to try to make everything parallel, so the two hinges are in the same direction. Just a quick shout out to my cameraman who also acts as a part-time clamp. We need an extra tube to elongate some of the frame. There you go, nobody with the right state of mind would try to weld this, but I will. That's what I call a precision drawing method. We are fueled on Dutch stroopkoeken. Now that will do. Guys, I am not a welder, okay? I just weld it so it is fixed, yeah? It doesn't look good at all. I'm not claiming to be able to weld, it just is attached in a somewhat permanent fashion. Also, the welding machine is not the best. Alright guys, it's almost time for the Moment Supreme. We will attach the main hinge. Now this is such a weird thing. Look how this thing moves. It's so strange. 
Alright, I'm gonna be honest with you. At this point, we just wanted to write this mental thing. So, we just slammed everything back together. But don't worry, we will show you how we styled it and make it look somewhat more nice. Oh yeah, guys, uh, by the way, I wanna thank every single one of you who have subscribed to this channel since last video. It's really been a pleasure to see all of you like the video and watch it and comment on it. It was great to see. Alright, now we were in the middle of the build but we wanted to test this thing so we went to our test facility but we had to do some bike bashing on the way there, as usual. There's literally projects standing around everywhere in our facilities. I think this bike will qualify as a folding bike. This was really strange guys, I cannot even express how weird it was to bike on this thing for the first time. Don't forget, we Dutch people bike every day since we are born. So this was strange to learn bike again. Just look at it, I mean, it, it's ridiculous. The rear steers, I mean, it's, it's so weird. You can do such tight corners as well. But I have to say, we picked it up really fast, like after 30 seconds we were able to do some sick drifts. Well, not actual drifts, but you, you get what I mean. Some sideways riding, some, some swinging left-right action, it was actually insane. In the end of the video I'll show you some more footage of this, because we got really good at it actually. And oh yeah, Dr. Pepper, please sponsor us. After the first excitement had lowered a little bit, we actually started finishing the bike properly. This is a very specially shaped tool we need for loosening up this nut. A special shout out to our viewers from Slovakia. Did you know that 0.4% of all views comes from your country? It was time for our nulling shot. Ready for some paint. What a lovely color that is. The wheels were the worst ever. Well, yeah, actually they were. So, some cleaning, and then some spray painting did the job. I know this is not how you spray paint parts, but come on, it's a prototype, yeah? I actually think that matte black looks pretty good. For this build we decided that a normal coaster brake would be best suited. If you use front brakes, you'll probably end up having your rear wheel overtake your front wheel which will result in some weird situations. I already foresee that there will be comments about me having painted this bearing shell, but you know, I do not care. Let's insert the stem very, very carefully now. I think this bike asks for a wide mountain bike bar. I won these grips ages ago in an alley cat with my fixie. That's actually starting to look like what we saw on the thumbnail. We also kind of didn't want to wait for the paint to dry, so we just put this thing in while it was still wet. All 
All right, let's insert this thing again very carefully. I guess that will never come loose again, especially because we didn't use any grease. This inside view is something you don't see every day. This is a random doppy we found in the garage. In this shot you can really see how bad the welds and the finishing is really embarrassing. But you know what, this is a prototype bike man. If this really works, we might just build another one in a somewhat neater way. If you guys have good ideas on what to build, bike related or non-bike related, let us know in the comments below. We are curious to see what you guys can come up with. Well that looks pretty smooth. Well, that all fits like a galoff. In this way, we can detach the chain if we need to, easily. Time for some test riding. Man, this thing is lots of fun. You can absolutely shred this thing. When riding through the city center, people will all smile and turn their heads. This thing just looks ridiculous when it's passing by swiftly. I think the thing looks amazing actually. It's, it's been a very cheap build and for what we put into it, we got a great result in my opinion. Guys, if it was possible, I would want all of you to try this bike. It's so weird to ride and so much fun. I also don't understand why I don't see this type of bike way more often here in the Netherlands. It's not like it's very crowded bike-wise here and very dangerous to drive this thing. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Please, if you have time, consider subscribing or liking. And I will see you in the next video.